Welcome back to turkey season. It is the 2024 kickoff with the Tennessee Youth Hunt. I've got Aiden over here. He's going to be cameraman. Here's our hunter this weekend, Rimbo, and we're looking forward to big time. We're not hunting too far from the house. We're less than an hour away, but we hate to drive over here early, early in the morning trying to get in under these birds when they're on the roost. So we thought, man, let's just go in and camp tonight. We did a little fishing before dark. Let's do for some birds on the roost. Ain't nothing like a little campfire, turkey season kickoff, and so we're fired up about it, man. We've been waiting a long time for this weekend right here, and it's finally here. All right, it's finally here, the long-awaited opening day of the Tennessee turkey season for the kiddos, the youth. That's our youth this morning. We got Aiden over here, and uh, Aiden's gonna help guide and call and assist and run a camera. Well, it should be a good time. We've had some really good hunts here the last three or four years. A lot of fun. This is our opening today spot for youth, and we're fired up, man. start this morning birds just aren't on us they're all around us on the neighbors but that's not helping us out where we are so I think the closest players we had was some jakes I feel like they're jakes pretty confident they're jakes and they went to a, the long beard the big boy gobbling back behind us he was on the neighbors too we came to check out our normal spot that we would normally start at and I feel like that's where these birds came from they roosted where they normally do went around our play was to catch them coming across like they do crisscrossing this little food plot that's not what they've done this morning though. And so we'll see where we'll slip back up here. Nine times out of 10, when you leave your spot you've been calling from, you go back, that's where they're gonna be right there. But we'll see, we'll get up here, figure out a game plan. Oh, no, we got a bearded hen making her way across the property here. Hopefully the boys are in there somewhere behind. I'm real optimistic that this bearded hen's got any players with her because I've often found that bearded hens are kinda like bearded women. You see it every once in a while, but it ain't pretty. And none of the guys like to be around that, so. Go ahead. Sounds terrible. Get again. We're about to call it quits for the morning. It's, I don't know, it's 10, 15 or so. This guy's ready to go get him a chicken biscuit. I am too. Ready to switch gears. These birds have left the piece of ground that we're on. Oh, actually never have been on the property we're on. They've just been around us on neighboring ground today. Had a bearded hen come across the field, hung out with us for about 45 minutes or so. Pretty cool stuff. Old bearded hen, Rimbo's wanting to kill her, but I told him we gotta let them ladies walk, even if they're ugly ladies with a beard. Be nice to them too, so we're gonna pack up our stuff, go grab some food, hang out, probably pack up our camp, get it ready to roll to the next spot, and then maybe this afternoon, after lunch, we'll get some afternoon specials rolling, try to find another bird on another piece of property. Save this one, we came and brushed the spot in where they flew down this morning. We've hunted there last year, we've killed birds back there, but we're hoping to catch them on this little loop. We should have been there this morning, so that's probably where we're gonna be tomorrow. We can get in there and get tucked in, get out of the rain, and so. Got us a spot ready for in the morning, and uh, if we need it, we'll need it, and then if not, we're gonna be on this afternoon. So, it ain't over yet, but the morning is over. We're gonna move on to the next one. This guy. Oh, look out now. That a boy. That a boy. We're over here trying to catch a turkey. And you catching catfish. That a boy, good job. We hear some birds back off here, God, we've not done much. I don't know if it's this storm blowing in here or whatever, but pretty quiet. They gobbled a few times, way off on the neighbors. And there's one back here behind us. And like I said, we're gonna go get back up where we were yesterday. Maybe they're back up here in striking distance, so. Good for you to experience. You want to talk? You go for it. I ain't got nothing to say. All right. 
that will be it for the uh, day two for uh, morning on day two for the youth hunt. Oh, gotta go get into church pretty soon. Oh, tell them about the action this morning. Did you have any action? But the action this morning was terrible. I mean, I mean what'd you hear? We heard <clears throat> a couple gobbles, way not way off, way off, not even probably on this property. Nothing on us. Time to get down with the get down. This is the last afternoon of the youth turkey hunt for 2024. Rimbo and I went out for a little bit before church this morning and it was a no-go. On the way out we struck a bird and I had a bird gobbling good. Every time Rimbo calls the tall timber Gabriel box call that uh that gobbler hammered at him. We could hear that bird and he was kind of easing towards the upper food plot and there's a dude with his grandson in there. Uh, that boy's never killed a bird as far as I know and so we backed off and just let him kind of work and hopefully uh, work up there to that boy. Hit it all. Meow, 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 meow.
hard with a bird. That's you, man. Can you believe that? No. Hey, just take it. Good boy. Awesome. Good gosh, that's awesome. Can you believe that? That's insane. I can't you believe that. Like, past three hunts have just been like, crap. We haven't, like the past three hunts, we've only seen one bird. Crap. And what was it? And then. What was the one bird we saw? Yeah, the one bird we saw was a hen and a bearded one. Bearded hen. We ain't seen a bird. We ain't seen a man bird. And then, boy, we made up for it today. You worked his head over with that old. Apex number nine, son. That is too cool. Hey, that's why you keep going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why you keep going. You think, man, we, we gotta keep after, it, keep after. It. And sure enough, those are the hunts right there that make it worthwhile. I mean, I, they they hollered the first series of calls. I mean, the first call we made, they slammed it. And then, I mean, that wasn't a 10 minute hunt. Middle of the afternoon, 3:30, turkey down, West Tennessee. Thank you, Jesus. See you in the morning at your last dawn. I'll be standing at the crossing just to welcome you.